What's up, everyone? What's happening on this scorching hot night? Hope you all are staying cool. Man, Shohei Otani's injury news continues to be a significant blow, not only to the Angels, but Major League Baseball and its fans as well. It's all anybody is talking about, the Shohei Otani injury. Everyone's talking about it. And yet, in what has been a fantastic year for the two-way star, we get devastating news that Otani suffers a torn UCL. And you all know who listen and watch my stuff that I've been talking and boasting endlessly about how good Otani is. The timing of this injury sucks because he's been playing his best baseball. On a very bad Angels team, he's become a huge part of of their starting rotation. He's just locked in every time he takes the mound. He's been outstanding both on the mound and when he comes up to bat. As spectators, we've watched Otani crush homers. We've watched him attack hitters and pitch blazing fastballs and nasty sliders to flummoxed hitters. Otani's impressive display a power coupled with his impeccable command of the strike zone is unreal. He's that damn good. But now as he deals with an injury, he's limited. He's limited to what he can do. This winter, with his pending free agency, Otani will entertain the idea of testing the market and will test free agent waters. But for now, anyway... Teams who have their eyes on him must consider whether Otani's UCL tear puts his pitching future in jeopardy. His injury could change everything. It can change everything. Okay, so now he's done pitching for the rest of the season after being diagnosed with a torn UCL. That much has been confirmed. What could it mean as he approaches free agency? When the news broke, my immediate reaction was that this could impact Otani's future as a two-way sensation. It's time to wonder if he's worth $500 million now. I don't think this devastating injury will affect his impending free agency nor his M MLB future. I'm weighing in on this. The conversation around the 2023 baseball season, believe it or not, has been about Otani. Let's just say he never pitches again. Otani can still do damage with his bat. I wouldn't dare say he wouldn't pitch again. Tommy John surgery has made it possible for pitchers to come back and stronger than ever from UCL tears and do great things. We've seen it. So I'm not going to say he's done as a two-way player. Jacob DeGrom, uh, Steven Strasburg, Adam Wainwright, and David Wells are among several well-known arms to have thrived after surgery. Otani can be the next guy on that list. The success rate is high, and many pitchers are able to recover and come back stronger than before. It's not as if he hasn't been through this before. He has. A physical prior to his 2018 Major League debut revealed a first-degree tear of his UCL. And look what happened. This is the same Otani who had a wonderful two 2022 campaign and an even better 2023 season, some might argue. I still foresee $500 million offers for Otani even though UCL, his UCL tear makes it seem almost unlikely. I believe there will still be interest for him. He's only 29. He's on track to win his second MVP award. To me, and I've watched him enough to say this, he's the best two-way player we've ever seen. I come to embrace him. Otani is going to lose money, but I still think he's he will end up with a mega size contract. There's no doubt in my mind that he will end up being the highest paid player in the in the game's history. 
Need I remind you, the Yankees gave Aaron Judge a nine-year, $360 million deal. Judge doesn't pitch and has battled back from a spate of injuries. The team that signs him will ultimately pay him as a hitter. Anything Otani provides as a pitcher will be a bonus. But either way, you slice it, he's a generational talent who clearly deserves generational wealth. I'm just saying, he has the body of work, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't think this injury will hurt his value too much, like people say, like people say it, it will. And wherever he ends up, he'll help his team sell more tickets and merchandise because he's an international superstar we've come to love and appreciate. Shohei Otani will be the highest paid player regardless of this injury. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. You guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Talk to you guys very soon. Peace.